starts, I want to give quick shout outs to you guys who commented on my last video. Big shout out to you guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, all you guys have to do is just simply leave a nice comment down below under this video. Also guys, I want to announce that I have a gaming channel called Lissy's Life and I'm posting daily gaming videos on there. Go subscribe! Hey! Oh, I just hit my chandelier. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the arcade family today. So as you guys know, right now, a lot of us are not able to leave the house or go anywhere because of a certain thing going around. And I don't know why, but YouTube doesn't want us to say the name of this thing. Otherwise, I'll get demonetized. So yeah, basically, um, I'm stuck inside of my room and I really want to go to the arcade. And I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do if I can't go to the arcade? I can't make YouTube. Videos, which means all of you guys are probably gonna unsubscribe or forget about me because I can't post content. <laughs> I decided to make a video on an app called Toriba. By the way, last time when I filmed this app, I got a lot of hate, so I'm gonna put a disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video, this is a non sponsored video. I literally wasted $230, and I'm gonna be cutting a lot of clips because, girl, this app is probably the hardest online claw machine I have ever played in my life. Not only that, but it's expensive and very hard to win from. Last time I played this, I got a a lot more lucky. I literally camped my phone and waited for things to be open. This time when I played it, I played the game at 1 a.m. in the morning when I was laying in bed, so all the footage you see is pre-filmed, and I'm gonna be narrating it for you guys. Also, Trixie, come here! You don't gotta be shy. Don't be shy. Come here. Right, Trixie? It's a hard app. We both know it's hard, okay? We both know it's hard. Without further ado, me and Trixie present to you guys a very unsponsored video. When I tell you guys it's unsponsored, please believe me this time. I would not lie to my viewers or be dishonest about these things. If it was sponsored, I would be happy to tell you guys it was sponsored. Um, I went broke making this video for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let me show you guys what Tariba is like and why it's kind of hard to play and why it's very expensive. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm trying to get this Growlithe, Pokemon Growlithe, Growlithe? And I noticed this on the edge, so I'm going to try to be hitting it off the edge like this and stabbing it or lifting it up to fall in. As you can see, it's pretty weak, so it kind of just barely budged. However, I do think this is in a better position than a lot of them are, so I'm going to stay optimistic. And here we are again. I'm barely moving it to the right, and I'm moving it forward just to stab the butt a little bit. And oh, 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 yes. Okay, so we did stab it a little more forward this time. Just saying, I think this is looking good for a Tariba claw machine. I have a good feeling about it. I have a good feeling. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, barely moving it to the right and just barely moving it up, trying to stab that button. <gasps> and, oh my goodness, how did that not fall? It's literally on the edge. I'm on the edge. All right, we're doing the same thing again. We're moving it forward, just a little hit to the right and about to drop it straight down on the Growlithe, Growlithe butt? I cannot say that Pokemon's name. That looks like it should not go in. How did that not go? How did that not fall? Anyways, we're doing the same technique because I have a feeling that it will eventually fall in. So here we are again, going to the very, you know, butt area of the plush. But this time with the left prong trying to stab that in. We'll see if that makes a difference. And it kind of might work and <gasps> finally, finally, a lot of dollars and a lot of commitment later, it did fall in. So we got a win. That's cool, but it's also expensive. <laughs> All right, next game is this lady and tramp figurine one that I found and I was trying to pick up the box and just hope that it falls in because these ones right here when I was playing them last night, they were really confusing. I didn't know if I wanted to just grab them straight forward and drop them in or try to slide it in between the bar in the middle, but I did slide that a whole lot and I picked it up. Look at that, it's actually lifting it. And then it drops it right there, why? So um, I actually thought that that was gonna go somewhere so I did manage to try to play again. Um, this time, you know, we're just gonna try doing the same thing because we're gonna be optimistic. So I went to the right, we're going for box B which is Tramp. I did really like these prizes though, I just wanna say they're really cute prizes, I will admit that. Um, so we're gonna try to get it by just picking it straight up or sliding it in and it did slide quite a bit, it did. A whole lot actually. But it did not do anything for me at all. It kind of just dropped it there and just left it there. So yeah. So here is play number three. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, this looks really, really hard. And I was right. It was indeed hard. So we just went on top of box B. And I was hoping to somehow stab box A or something and make it fall forward into between the bars. But it grabbed box B again. And not only that, it dropped it right in front of 
the same spot, so it did not work. It was a fail. Those prizes were cute though. So this one right here, I don't even remember which prize I was going for, but it was a ping pong dropper, so I was like, you know what, it's about that luck. So with the ping pong dropper there, it made it easier to grab the balls because it had that little section there, and you had to get it in that little colored ring right there to get the prize, and did I get it? Nope. But that was all by chance, and I was unlucky, so yeah. And I tried again because, you know, it was a chance machine and I was feeling like I would be lucky. So I tried to grab another ping pong ball and of course, I don't think you could really miss the ping pongs unless you completely miss the dish. But I did grab it and look at that, it was hanging on the edge this time. But watch where it lands. It almost <laughs> falls out of the whole box because it was on the edge. So that was a fail. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this one was a giant, I think, um, thumper from Bambi, and I thought it was in a great position. As you can see here, it's kind of dangling off the edge, so I thought it was a good idea to try to lift the head up to make it fall into the prize chute, but I didn't get under enough on that specific play, um, so it didn't do anything to it. But I had that ear, oh my gosh, look at that, that ear though! So I tried again, and I just kept deciding to stab it in random spots, hoping it'd fall in, because it does look like it's leaning off the edge. So this time I think I tried to stab like the upper head of it, and look at that! That was a thick stab. And look, it just repositions itself. It did not move anywhere. Oh no. Wow, I really did think that was gonna be it. It's literally just hanging for its life. It's like, ugh. you know, it's about to fall into the prize chute. So this one, I think I tried to just lift it up under the head, kind of just like, you know, go from the front all the way over, but I stabbed into the head because that's as far forward as it could go. And I got under it and tried to lift it up and it actually worked! So I guess that was the move instead of stabbing to just like lift it forward. So we actually had another win! Is that crazy or what? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I got the big bunny. So yeah, I'm a winner. This one right here I got after it was immediately reset and somebody had just won it before me. Um, and as you can see here, I just pretty much went on top of the loop exactly. And I actually ended up winning this watch. I got the loop. And I just tip it right in. Like, look at that. It just falls. Like, is that not crazy or what? That was surprisingly easy. Really rare find for Tariba, so I took it. Hatsune Miku was everything. <laughs> yes. This one was a My Melody Sparkle Plush. I like sparkly My Melody plushies. I think they're cute. This one looked like it would be easy, and I tried to stab it off the edge, so watch what happens. I kind of miss. I think I get the upper head right here instead. Do I grab it? Oh yeah, I kind of grab it. Look at that. I thought I was going to like pull it in. I thought I was going to pull it in and then watch. It's like, not today, sister. Not today. It drops it completely face forward. <laughs> but I didn't want to give up there, okay? No. I was determined that my melody would be mine. So this time I went for the one right here and I was like, wow, that was a strong grab so I'm going to try to go for this one and see if I get luckier. So here's what happened. Boop. Nope, not today either, Chief. So yeah, I thought it was getting easier though because it wasn't a good spot. It was right by where I needed to drag it off the edge. So I kept on going thinking, you know, you just never know. So as you guys can see here, I'm just going on top of it, pretty much barely moving the claw and hoping to just drag it right on past the side. But these ones like to pick it up and drop it and just, you, it's all about luck. It really is all about luck or just the perfect grab. I thought that was gonna go in. Look how close that was. It's literally right there. Like it's on the edge of falling in. So I think I tried to stab it one more time as you guys will see in just a second. Um, yep, I go right, pretty much right there and literally right there. I barely move the claw at all. And I try to stab it in, but that's pretty much the only spot I can go. And then look what happens. Look what happens. It's literally about to fall in, but then the claw says, Nope! Not today again, sis! You're not getting my Melody Sparkle Edition. <laughs> and then I cried all night long. <laughs> so sad. Anyways, I found this, like, Disney, like, chickmunk one, and it looked like it was gonna be easy, so your girl had to try. I wanted to push the head straight on this way into the prize chute. I was hoping the stabbing technique would work, but I just stabbed his neck and I completely wasted my credits there, as you guys can see. What a fail. What a bad idea. So, that was not the move. <laughs> that was not the move. So this time, I 
I think I did the same thing again, which was not smart. <laughs> but I was thinking that it would work and I just kind of had off aimage, so I did the same thing again. And this time, I don't know if I stabbed it differently, did I? Hmm? Not really. Literally the same thing twice in a row because your girl just doesn't learn from her mistakes. I did the same thing twice in a row thinking it would help and that did not help. <laughs> not at all. So it looks like it would be an easy position for Tariba, but no. <laughs> um, no. So this one I found looked easy to me. I found this pink one right here that I liked and I think it was a bunny. I looked at the price chart. So I wanted to take it with the right prong and slide it off the edge because the edge ones are my favorite to play on Tariba. As you can see there, that was pretty strong and it was going towards the right spot, so I was looking optimistic towards this. I also recommend if you guys do want to try Tariba, not saying you should, um, that if you do play any of these, these edge ones are the better bet because these ones are a little more forgiving if the claw is strong enough to pull it off the edge. So I'm trying to do the same thing again, trying to pull it off the edge. And it rolls a lot. Does not roll the right way, but it rolls. <laughs> but we're going again because I have a good feeling. Alright, let's see what happens here. Am I gonna get it? Nope. <laughs> but I'm still trying to get it. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm still going at it. I still have that feeling that I'm gonna do it. Alright, so I move it pretty tight that time, and I do see a big difference, and it's on, on the edge! That is the best position if you ever see any claw machine in the world, anywhere, dangling on the edge like that. It's a good sign. It's a good sign you should probably hit it off the edge, because, girl, why would you not? So, at this point, I have the feeling I'm going to get it, and I just have to get directly on top of it and pull it in, and this is what happened. Boom! Chakalaka! We finally got it a million plays later. At least we did it. So yeah, I am excited about that little bunny. So cute! Okay, so Cinnamarole is my favorite Sanrio character and I found this one right here where Cinnamarole had cherry blossoms all over herself and I thought it was so cute so I had to try. This one was an edge claw machine too, but look how weak that was! Like, it didn't do anything. It did not even grip it just a little bit really. That was incredibly weak, so I was trying to think of new solutions here to get creative to get it because I really like, you know, Cinemarole. Cinemarole is my favorite Sanrio character. So I kind of did the same thing, I think, but I tried to get even tighter with the plush this time. So look how tight I got, but I think I completely missed it. Yes, I literally missed it. <gasps> Too tight and not far enough back at all. What a noob, am I right? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I tried again because your girl has a Cinemarole obsession. So this time I went more forward and I was hoping it would help. I finally got forward on that and really tight on it and did it move at all? Barely. Barely. And I think after that I decided to give up because I didn't see it happening. <laughs> and yeah, no cinnamon roll for me. So guys, that was it for this video about Tariba. As you guys could see, I spent about $230. I cut a lot of footage because there was just a lot of me not winning. Um, and I did want to make it somewhat entertaining for you guys, but just know, advisory, if you guys do decide to play this game, just know it's really hard and expensive. Um, and if you do, definitely limit yourself because it can turn into like a gambling situation for kids real quickly. Um, that's how any arcade is really though, so you know, it's a risk. Just have your limitations, okay kids and adults out there? Don't hate on me for this. I just wanted to try to Reba and make a fun little video and just show you guys what it's really like non-filtered and you know it is expensive and I just wanted to make a video because I'm locked in my house so please don't hate on me I'm just a soft pastel girl who loves turtles so yeah anyways that's gonna be it for today's video um, I don't have the prizes yet because they are being shipped in from Tokyo and I just filmed this last night at 1am laying in my bed so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video I love you guys all so so very much and I'll see you guys in the next video I really miss real life arcades right now but soon. Be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.